What's up YouTube, JL Folks here. Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I am super excited because it's new guitar day and Heritage Guitars just sent me a new guitar and I already know this thing's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna unbox it and see what's inside. I love how the box actually says Heritage Guitars on it too. I think that's pretty awesome. Got some bubble wrap in here. All right, I can see the case. All right, so here's the case. Pretty awesome Heritage guitar case. This may be the nicest Heritage case I've ever received, but uh, we're gonna open it up for the first time. I have not seen this guitar yet, so I am super excited. Wow. This thing is amazing already. So now I got her plugged in and we're gonna hear what she sounds like for the first time. So I've got some overdriven tones on. I thought the best way to approach this would be playing some rock riffs. So here we go. <laughs> So this guitar is a artisan aged Heritage H150 and this is truly an amazing guitar. I was one of the first artists ever to introduce this model by Heritage Guitars. About a year ago I went to a studio in Nashville called Dark Horse Studios and we recorded a video introducing this line of guitars and Heritage was so happy with it that they told me that they wanted to send me one of these. And they asked me which one I wanted, and I told them I wanted the H150 and Dirty Lemon Burst. And this is truly a beautiful finish. This is the Dirty Lemon. It's got a red mahogany back. Everything is checked on it, meaning it's all cracked, which is what the older guitars do as they age. And it's checked throughout the whole guitar, the neck, the headstock, just about everything. Even the hardware is aged. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of Relic guitars until I saw all the ones by Heritage. It's basically a light Relic, so it's not real heavy, and it's really authentic looking. I mean, this looks like a vintage guitar, and it plays and feels amazing. This thing sounds amazing, too. I can already tell this Heritage H150 is better than my other Heritage that I got a few years ago. The neck is, I feel like it's a little slimmer than my other Heritage, but I could be wrong. I mean, it just plays really good. It's set up really great. A huge thanks to Heritage Guitars for sending me this guitar. They are truly some of the best guitars in the world. That's why I love them so much. They just are amazing. 
A big shout out to Pete Farmer who built this guitar and set it up for me. My really good friend at Heritage Guitars. And a big shout out to Mike Ortiz for keeping me updated on this whole process and sending me pictures along the way. I could not be happier. This is truly a beautiful and amazing instrument. I'm going to have so much fun with it. But anyways, thanks for watching YouTube. Be sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a ton more videos with this guitar, and I'll be doing a full-on review of this guitar very soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.